to make another new and noteworthy plant haul here with my little friend and let's just jump into it I have a lot of plants so a couple of these plants the ones that I'm just about to show you were grown from seed and I put the seeds down maybe a month ago from a little packet that I received for free if I can figure out who sent it to me I'll tell you or show you a picture but it's called B please um, which was just so cute because it's B E E so I decided to go ahead and put these seeds down in my yard and I couldn't tell what was a plant and what was a weed so a lot of it I ended up just pulling up because it just wasn't looking good but um a few of the things I've let grow and I want to show you those two things first because I think they're actually cute so let's start with this one I'm pretty sure I've identified it and this is a California goosefoot nettle I wrote the names down just because I'm recording on my phone so that's what I'm looking at um, anyway, I really like it because, let's see what we can do to keep it still. It has these stripes on the stems and I just, I don't know. It's bushed out, it grows really quickly and it seems to be a really tough plant. So, I like other it. Other thing is, um known as great mullen or lamb's ears. And I really wanted these for a long time. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. It's like a soft furry feel. Um, but there's a slight variegation. I don't know if you'll be able to see it where it looks like um at least in the sunlight you can see a little bit of pattern on it and i like that so those are the two things from the bee please packet this just popped up in one of my succulent arrangements and obviously it's not a succulent um, but it caught my eye because the leaves are these cute little heart shaped things um kind of like the perfect little heart with ridges the leaves are really soft and delicate. I'm sure it's probably a weed, but um, this is from my little section in the ground with succedums. Um, I can't remember the actual name of this one, but I just wanted to create a pot and kind of make like a little bush out of it. I think it would be really cute. It grows quickly and I put it in a very succulent mix because the leaves will yellow for some reason when you bring them in the house the leaves tend to yellow so I might just take them outside and let it grow there um, probably because it's warmer and the water can dry out quicker so I'll probably just put it outside on my porch but I like it we'll see how it goes and this is <laughs> um, a little plant that I acquired. Uh, anyway, um, I just kind of stuck it in this water, but you know what I'm going to do soon? I have no clue what this is. It also is furry, fuzzy, and I like it. Um, it was in bloom, but I pulled most of the blooms off, and I think the plant is more of like a purple. So, I'm gonna figure out what this is, but I'm going to take it out of water and I'm gonna just put it in some soil and put it in my propagation bin and see what happens. These seeds arrived and I was really excited about this. So I definitely wanna put these in pots and I also wanna give them to a friend of mine who's really good at growing things from seed. But these are the Black Eyed Susan vines I love Black Eyed Susans, but they're invasive, so I don't really want to put them in my yard, but as much as I understand from this one, these are very hardy, they're really pretty, easy to grow, 
perennials and the vine itself I believe is evergreen so basically it's a perfect plant slash flower so we're gonna see um, and I have these little pots to put it in so I'm pretty sure that what I'm gonna do is grow a bunch of these these are the last remaining pots like this I have. it's five of them and I'll be able to give them to people or just you know have a bunch of them in different places because I was also told from a video that I saw that they're not invasive like the black eyed Susans are they more stay to themselves and so that's lily this. of the valley plants um and this is that it's a ground cover i put it in this big old pot because it was said to spread quickly um i ordered these on etsy and they came rooted so i went ahead and stuck them in this and it's just been sitting outside when it arrived the leaves are a bit damaged from shipping as you can see um I haven't really cut them back much but I understand that it smells really good and I'd like that for my yard um, at least next year I want to have a few more plants that are fragrant so I'll insert a picture of Lily of the Valley this right here is some bamboo that I ordered I actually ordered this on Amazon and I know that Bamboo is basically one of those things you don't want to put in your yard um, Because it spreads so much and you can't really get it up from what I understand But I'm gonna put this in a pot and it's sitting on a paver Sitting on top of some mulch. So I'm hoping that it I don't think it should do too much a moonlight philodendron and I was so excited it looked like Well, now I overwatered it. Um, the leaves started drooping and I thought it was too dry, so I watered it thoroughly. And then they started yellowing and falling off one by one. Um, I pulled this out of the soil and set it outside so it could dry out. And looking at the roots, I'm pretty sure that it's root rot. So what I'm going to do is cut off these roots, put, put it in some good black gold soil, and then put it in my propagation bin and see if it still makes it. And it's called succulent. <laughs> I got it from Lowe's. It was only like $3, but I thought it was really cute. I'm not sure if it's a black prince. Um, but I think it's some kind of echeveria. I haven't identified it yet. So I just put it in this little pot along with another teeny little cutting of a cow and coley. Another succulent. And this one is called Sedum Trelisi. It looks kind of crazy right now. I'll show you a picture of how it arrived. I ordered this on Etsy. Um, it made 10 or 15 dollars I can't remember but I propagated it and I had five big stalks or clusters of this and then I just went through and cut everything and propagated it I'd like to have a big full pot so unfortunately it had to be done so I'm gonna see if well, it should, I mean, it's a succulent, so it's a sedum. It should grow back and be fine, but they're just so cute. They have these chubby little leaves and I love them. So that's what I did. Um, the next thing, I wanna show you this, satin pothos. And this is not new, but it is noteworthy because when I first got this, I had an actual small pot full of it and it died back and died back and died back and finally I put it in my propagation container and just left it in there for like three or four months and now 
The leaves are big and healthy and firm. And even though it is just literally one section here, um, I have hope that it's going to do better. I put it in black old soil and added a little bit of um, peat moss just to retain some of the moisture. So I'm going to see if it does better this time. Um, so far, so good. Guy Nora. I've bought this plant probably five or six times. The minute I saw it, I just really wanted it. And um, for whatever reason, it always dies on me. But um, I'm hoping that by getting it from somewhere that's not Lowe's or Home Depot, it won't just die on me. And I did some research on it, and I think they were talking about Gynora sometimes has sudden d Gynora death. Um, so we'll just see. But it's so pretty. It's, I have pink and white. Um, pink is very illusion. And then I have white arrowhead vines. They're doing well. But this one has an interesting variegation to the leaves. I haven't really seen any that are both pink and green, but I think they're so pretty. So I saw this at Home Depot for $4 and I had to just grab this little pot. But also in the pot, there is three different little tiny clusters. Sorry, my hands shake. But there's three different tiny clusters of the plants and so I know I'd be able to propagate it as well as just enjoy having it and like I said I'm not going to be propagating them or at least not cutting them up and giving them away for a while until I just kind of let them grow um, this summer I want to just let them grow let them grow and then see what happens but hopefully with the better fertilizer um, because I usually just use miracle Grow, Hopefully with better organic fertilizer, I'll be able to see a lot of growth with these plants. So I'm not going to keep going on about that. And then finally, nope, I have one more. This one is a Pothos Menhula. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I ordered this one from... I can't remember if it was Amazon or Etsy, um, but I'll put the information in the video once I figure it out. I really like this one, even though the trails, so it has these three pretty long trails and they look kind of crazy. So I was <laughs> thinking about trying to like wrap them up in here and pin them down so it just looks like a bush but some um, well there's four trails but then I said well I don't want to break the stalks and also eventually I want the whole thing to trail so I just want you to take a look at it see that there all right and this is actually the last plant <laughs> and this is one that I've wanted for a long time Hoya Crinkle 8. Okay, this one is a Hoya. It's the Crinkle 8. I got this from Amazon from the plant Chica. It was 30 some dollars at the end of it and um, that includes shipping. But um, it's so healthy. But I really, really like this plant. Like it's pretty great. And also there's a lot of trails in here um like a lot of trails in here so i am going to propagate it a bit and keep it for me <laughs> just so i have backup the other thing that might be new and noteworthy is this t-shirt so i was like i have to get this shirt for him um and i just thought it was so fun all right i think i've been chatting it up long enough <laughs> Bye.